YTPC. How you doing? Just a hot pop coming at you. Currently smoking the Royal Duke Rusticated Bulldog Bulldog in it. Some Captain Black Cherry. Reason for this video. <clears throat> my Gmail. My Gmail. Can't understand it. I can get on this phone. Get on the tablet. But on my computer, now I knew everything was going to change over. But every time I went to my Gmail, it's all messed up. So I had to go through and make a whole new Gmail. I have my new Gmail down in the bucket. So I have to go through and uh there's a G's got my email address. I'm gonna send you a new one. I got everything straightened out, trust me. I apologize for any convenience on it. But you should for those that's got my my current one. I'm gonna give my dinner. I'm gonna say it here and I'll put it down in the bucket. It's Jeff Wright, W R I J H T two seventy five at gmail dot com. It's Jeff Wright, W R I J H T two seventy five at gmail dot com. Now I need to put it down in the bucket. For those that's got my email, if you see that come up, it's me. I'm just letting everything run on the computer right now. I do the whole new Savannah and uh, the whole new thing. What I'm going to do is, just for luck, is let me, let, is, this phone here is, I just use it for internet. But luckily, it's that me get on my old account, and it's luckily it's that me long enough going there to get everybody that I've emailed or we've corresponded with each other. Um, it's gonna I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna email you guys, and uh, it's on my end. It's on, it's on my end. It, it ain't, it ain't gonna affect anybody else. My old account's not gonna affect anybody, but it's just on my end. Somewhere I made a mistake somewhere. Never had it happen before. My other, my Yahoo account's fine. Yeah, I went through and checked it, and... Plus, I had to update the security on the computer. Well, not updated. I have to update it every... About once a week, but... It, I do it mainly, well, they'll notify me, but all my kids does it for me, but... I've heard it that way, so I know it is secured. Ah, oh, one of them days.
I went somewhere with a friend of mine last night. Gathering. This woman, her, her, I know them both, her and her husband, they're both up in their 70s. Well, friend of mine was going to run late, and, uh, well, anyways, my other friends, they pop up and pick me up. He shows up, he probably calls straight, well, the state and her husband, well, he's, he's home. But, uh, her car was just fine, nothing wrong with the vehicle. Well, she went and left and come back in and she says, my car done been hit in the size. The way she said it, thought somebody was just out in her vehicle. So, everybody's panicking. Almost freaking out. Got to get them all straightened out. Walk out there. But guys, sure enough. Some daggone knucklehead. Yeah, pissed me off. Just not just a... Uh, people, man. Especially when you're fourth hour day. That goes through me real quick. <laughs> yeah. Am I still pissed about it? Yeah. I am. But. I don't want to take it out on nobody. I just did it. Keep to myself mostly. But anyways. Get inside of the car. Get inside of the drive. I don't think they fooled the drive side. Big old den inside the car. And. Busted out her window. She's all tore up. What is wrong with society today? Get underneath my skin so quick. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a rant. <laughs> Her husband, she's in her early, early mid seven. He's almost eighty. Her, her husband is. I called the police department. I told him all before the, they called. I said, "Don't touch nothing. Don't move nothing." Leave everything the way it is. Huh. Just don't touch nothing. Just in case they had to come here and process or whatever. Don't put your fingerprints on the car. Don't put no fingerprints on inside the car. Huh. Makes me, it just makes me sick. People, man. Why? Hmm. What's this society come to, man? What's this world come to? When I was growing up as a kid, we didn't have all that trouble. If I've done something like that, I've got my head knocked off by my parents. I would have got the worst whooping than anybody ever got. Mm -hmm. Now the guy came, they did what they had to do to the police department. There wasn't nothing they could do because it was basically almost the way it looked. It was like a, it was a hit and skip. But the way it looked, it was, her side of the car was fine because I was talking to a guy. 
It just probably showed up. I was outside and the car was fine. No dents, no nothing. Sitting there pretty, perfect, pretty as picture. Went over and turned her house on the way home. We took her home and me and a friend did. The guy drove her car home. All the way over, try to keep her, her mindset, uh, you know, try to keep her from losing it. All the way there, I said, I looked at her, <laughs> turned around, I said, you got a trash bag. She kind of looked up, not kind of funny. She said, what do you need a trash bag for? I said, I just need a trash bag. That's a tape. She didn't have no clue what I was going to do. Or what I was up to. Her husband. Bless his heart. <laughs> the guy tried to explain to him. He gets everything all. My friend of mine, he gets everything all confused. Try to tell him, well, your windshield got busted out. And I looked at him, and I said, there's a difference. There's a, and I had to explain to him. I didn't have no problems explaining. I was trying to keep my cool. Because <laughs> I know it wasn't none of their fault. I said, there's a difference between a windshield and a driver's side window. So there's a difference. And I had to explain. So I asked to explain to him. Come out, showed him. Take our trash back, spread it. Put all that, put our side doors, taped it, secured it, tied it down. I don't know how to explain the reason why I done that's well for one. See if you don't want no couch or anything else in your vehicle, jumping up in your vehicle, that's one way. Too, we're supposed to have you know rain stuff coming in. And I said you don't want anything running. Got to go. Sometimes got to look after your own. Got to look after. Your, check on your neighbors. Look after them. I mean. I'll show sure check with somebody, check on me. I know this video is a little bit long. But I try to get it off my chest now of mine. Check on your neighbors, check on your elderly. If they're a stranger, make friends with them. Keep an eyeball. Because they're like a library. I mean, they're not like a library, but they got the knowledge and the wisdom. That's how I learn a lot. Yeah, I call them my elders because they're, you know, it's out of respect. And that's how I learn. Now, I used to be a, the reason why I say that, I used to be a nurse aide. And I had two patients, a man and a woman, two of them. The gentleman was 105 years old. The woman was on different floors. He was on the first floor. The lady was up on the third floor. She was 104. Learned a lot. Learned a lot and still had a memory as mine. Learned a lot. But that was over 15, over about 19, about 18 years ago. I used to take care of people. And in M2, over a century. Learn a lot.
But for somebody to sit there and do something like that out of total ignorance, then that's my respect. Then that's my respect. And take that and, and do something like that. So it just it just irritates me. I didn't mean to rant like that, but there ain't nobody in the trust me anybody in the YTP safe. But just remember, my Gmail account has been changed. Uh, yeah, I'll be down in the bucket. Sorry for the inconvenience, like I said, sorry for the inconvenience on it. Anybody's got my, um, my other one, uh, kind of keep it, but, uh, he's, uh, I'm gonna give him my new one, it's Jeff Wright, W-R-I-J-T, 275 at, uh, gmail.com. But, um, just, just remember, it's the hot piper. Keep them lit. Keep the embers burning. Y'all take care. And catch you here later on today.